Lately, Heroes in General has been getting tons of updates, and I thought I'll go ahead and check it out myself, see what it's like. I mean, I've been playing this game for well over four years. It's been in the beta for all that time. And I decided today I'm going to show you a guide how to get yourself a sniper with one-shot kills. Now, we'll start off with the Infantryman. And for the Infantryman, you can have the rifle, the M1903. You'll see I have the Bertie Clay for it. That's what I'm using. And I'll click on all the bullets and all the attachments just for you to see the graph there. Uh, for the sculpt, I prefer to use the German one instead of the American one. I just, I don't know, I just like that one a bit better. I don't actually use a field trigger. I do use, however, the heavy bolt for it. I don't need to buy anything else for it because the heavy bolt will do basically most of the damage, so I want to keep that. And as for my barrel, I use the Scout 2 because, again, if you see the graph there, you'll see how much difference and how much distance it will go further than anything else. Now, if I were to use the actual sniper itself, the only thing that's going to be different on this is going to be the scope, because this is going to have a long scope. It's going to be an 8 times. Uh, but I do prefer the shorter scope instead of the longer one. And the only thing that's going to be slightly different on this is, again, instead of the Scout 2, you'll have the Chrome Molly, which the Chrome Molly is just a little bit better, just a tiny bit better than the Scout 2, but you can't have these, the sort of Chrome Molly on your infantry man you can only have it on your recon on your sniper so let's go ahead and get into the game now a lot of people think that heroes and generals is pay to win i shot this guy three times in the back i didn't kill him fuck this game pay to win i'm not going to be playing this well let's look at the pay to win system a little bit i do agree you can buy weapons with your own money you can buy guns you can buy attachments you can buy pretty much everything with money in with real money now, if I were to start an account today and play Heroes and Generals, and I'm playing for the Americans, and one of the best weapons along the others is the M1, M2, which is semi-auto, and I can also use it as an automatic weapon, I would need to pay a whole 20,000 gold if I were to unlock that weapon. Each weapon has a ribbon that you need to sort of get points into. Once that ribbon gets to a certain level, then you will unlock that special thing that you want to buy. That being a scope, that being bullets, barrels, springs, whatever. And eventually you will get weapon unlocks along the way. But if I were to do it from zero to buy that weapon straight away, that would cost me well over 20,000 gold. Now, 20,000 gold in real money is around 100 euros. That's about, I don't know, about 30, 140 dollars or something like that. Plus, I still have to buy all the mods for it. I still have to pimp it out. And that's gonna, just going to cost me more money because I haven't really played and I haven't done anything to that weapon. Now, you don't actually have to pay money to unlock things. While you can do that, you get that by playing the game. By shooting somebody in the face, in the leg, in the back, whatever, you will get points into that ribbon, and that ribbon eventually will unlock certain things that you want to unlock. Most people usually want to unlock a couple of attachments, and they want to scope, because they usually do better with a scope. You could do that, you can play war mode war mode gives you double the xp and you can actually even boost your own ribbon by purchasing a booster for it which is lasting i think it lasts about four hours so if you're going to be playing for a session for a couple hours it's well worth if you to get one of those it's generally not that expensive is anywhere from i paid from four thousand to five to six to even twenty thousand for a four hour boost to that particular ribbon just to get something unlocked. Now, like I said, I've been playing this game for well over four years now, and I've never really played it sort of extensively. I always play it for a couple of weeks here and there every year, just sort of checking out the updates and seeing what's it all about. But lately, I've been sort of playing it a little bit more and getting into it a bit more and just sort of finding my foot in. And I just sort of enjoy the sort of tactical, the strategic sort of way of the game. You know, it's a bit different to a lot of the games that are out there. There's more updates, there's lots of tanks, there's lots of other things for you to do in, in, in the game. So there's plenty of sort of stuff in there for everybody. If you want to be a sniper, you can do that. If you want to be somebody with a LMG and just rush in and just blast a shitload of bullets around, you can do that. There's tankers, there's fighter pilots, there's so, all sorts for everybody out there. So for me, that I've picked up this guy's rifle. Now, one thing that I don't want to do is I don't want to die. I want to keep this as much as I can, not only because... I will not be using my own money because every time you use a weapon that weapon needs to be repaired the scope the bullets everything has a cost at the end of the match now because i picked his own weapon i'm not actually using my weapon i'm using his and i'm not going to be paying almost anything for my weapon maybe because i've shot it once or twice and i'll pay one credit or something like that which is meaningless but since I picked up this guy's weapon, and I know it's going to be a one-shot kill weapon, how do I know that? By looking on your right side of your screen, just below the ammo count, 
you'll see that everything's highlighted in white. That means he has mods on everything. He's got the bullets, the trigger, the barrel, everything. Now, that doesn't always guarantee you a one-shot kill, as you can see from that one. That's just because somebody may be using a badge called Heavy Set. Now, the Heavy Set badge is basically you go from bronze to silver and to gold, and that's going to do less and less damage to you. So in this case, because I've got the gold one, that is 85% less damage, so that's going to give me a bit of a chance if somebody's shooting me in the back or if somebody's shoot, somebody shooting at me with a full, full out pimped out sniper, then he shouldn't kill me in one shot unless you're shooting me in the head. But that will give me enough time for me to react or try to get away or try to shoot him if I have the better aim or maybe the better sniper. You just never know, but at least he's going to give you a chance. Now, another thing that I like to do is I like to purchase the 24-hour membership when I do play. You can play, you can pay 76000 I think it costs, for a 24-hours veteran membership. And that's going to give you basically a lot more money, a lot more credits, a lot more everything. Everything's going to sort of be doubled almost on everything. Now, the reason I pay for that is because I'm going to get a second badge. Now, you can use a second badge, and basically what I use is I use camouflage. Now, camouflage is basically no kill cam, so you can keep on shooting people in the back. They'll have no idea where you're shooting them from unless somebody sort of spots you or somebody's around you. But otherwise, when you're killing somebody, he'll have no idea where you shot him from. So you'll see that guy in the grass there. He kind of has no idea where I'm shooting from. He's looking, he's looking, too late, he's dead. Now, you won't see the kill cam, so if on the off chance that my teammates are capping that point and he wants to come back and shoot me in the back, he wouldn't have any idea what I am because I'm using that camouflage badge and he doesn't have a kill cam, so he has no idea what I am. Now, again, you don't have to get this. You can just use your regular one. You can just don't have heavy set and that's probably going to be sort of a bad idea because you're going to get one-shotted by a lot of people. But you're going to have the element of surprise. So there's going to be a compromise for you to do. Now, if you obviously, if you buy the 24-hour membership, you can have two. You can have both. You can have heavy set. And you can also have uh, the, other, the other badge where it's keeping you hidden from the kill cams and everything like that. Or you can have to sort of make a decision. Do I want to be able to take a bit of damage? Or do I just want to be able to hide all the time? That's kind of what you have to decide. Now, one of the important things with a sniper is just to get yourself into a good position and try and stick it out. Don't try and rush in. While you can still get some no-scopes with this and all that, chances are the Germans have always been overpowered as hell. And they're going to have MG42s with 50 bullets. They're going to spray the shit out of you and you probably will die. So the best thing to do, especially in this case, we're trying to close this line. This is the last spawn point for them. I'm going to get myself into a position where I can take out at least a couple of guys and then keep them guessing to where I am. Eventually, I am going to get spotted, but because I'm killing two, three, four, five of them, whatever I can get, as many as I can get, they will still think that somebody around their base killing them as they spawning in. Now, they do have the element of surprise on me because they have three seconds while they are invincible, sort of, not invincible, invisible, should I say, and they can look around before they're actually into combat. So having three seconds is a huge, huge thing, especially when you spawn in right there in front of me. Now, eventually, like I said, I will get spotted, and that guy's, guy knows what I am now, so I'm not going to be hanging around here too much. But the one thing I really wanted to do for the team is give them time to regroup and cap that objective and come back here, because what we're trying to do is we were trying to take this, we've lost the other one, and we sort of got stuck here. Now, because you got stuck in, there is no point for you to spawn anywhere. They will spawn basically next to you and shoot you in the face while he's sort of invisible for three seconds and you have no idea he's in front of you. So you shouldn't really get yourself into these situations because they're always going to have the jump on you. So for me, seeing that I've kind of been busted around here, it's time for me to move on until the boys take that objective. Otherwise, I'm risking them spawning in front of me and just killing me. Now, even though I've unlocked 99.9% .9 of weapons in this game, I still find myself using the base weapon that I started with. I still use the M1 Garand, I've got a few mods to it, and I still prefer using that because it's a two-shot kill and I just like using it. In this case, for me, you'll see I've picked up somebody else's weapon. It's only got a little bit uh, sort of modded to it, which is the bullets. I managed to get this tanker out quickly, switch to the weapon. I managed to keep everybody busy here while my boys captured the objective and they now come in and we're going to take this and we have an extra tank. So that's it for me for today. Hopefully that cleared out a few things. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.